Hi there and welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. So how do you keep uh, good employees when you find them? You know, it's one of the biggest challenges today. Well, let me tell a little bit of a quick story and maybe it can have a, a real practical point that can help. My wife goes to cardio drumming, whatever that is. She also likes to go to yoga. So those are the classes in, in working out she likes to do. I may have mentioned before, I really love, I've been going to boxing for a number of years and so we do a, uh, a group of us, maybe 20 or 25 people, we do a heavy bag boxing workout. Well, you know, the thing I wanted to point out first of all is there are so many exercise classes competing for students. I mean, everyone's trying to get 10, 20 people to come regularly to their class. I mean, it's competitive. So how do all these exercise uh, leaders build a following? There's the point. Well, let me tell you how I think, I've noticed for Jennifer, my wife, how they do it in their classes. And I can tell you, it's the same thing with ours. When you're brand new and you go in from the very first person that checks you in, to the coach that helps you get your hand wraps on and your gloves, to eventually almost all of the students, all of us who are there, who kind of introduce ourselves, my name is Dan, how you doing, what's your name, welcome, and then during it, boy, how you doing, or good, good job on the last routine, and at the end of it, you know, way to go. We try to be encouraging, even at the end we try to say, you know, it's hard at first, so hang in there, but you did a good job. Uh, coach says goodbye to them individually as people are leaving. From the very beginning to the very end, the entire team, from the staff to the people that participate, we're all involved in making them feel welcome. Everyone is. And so um, we even realize as students that have been there a while, we don't need that much attention. So we give a little bit more attention to new people, especially in the beginning in the first few weeks. Well, it, it, it applies right completely to how do you keep good employees. Especially in the beginning, making people, people feel welcome. Uh, encouraging them, asking them, do you have any questions? This can be confusing. Did that make sense? Do you need anything? Thanks for coming tonight. We'll do it again tomorrow, the cleaning, and I'll be here again with you one more night to be working on this, and we'll get through it. That was a good first night. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Showing personal interest and really communicating to them and encouraging people in the very beginning, in the first day, week, and weeks is so critical to getting in the habit of making them feel a part of our team. And it's definitely something uh, that we can do in cleaning. And again, just like an exercise, it doesn't apply just to the supervisor or the trainer. You hope it applies to everyone in the cleaning company, from the owner to the HR person to every cleaning person they meet in the team. Boy, everybody represents the cleaning service. And if they can all make them feel welcome, it goes a long way uh, you know, money is one thing, but feeling a part of a team and a family is a whole other thing, too. And today, that's such an important thing. I hope that helps. Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.